morning world I'm back again the truth my topic of the day is I hate thirsty people and why you got people around you that's talking shit about what you're trying to do with yourself I'm gonna get straight to it I'm gonna get straight to it. One thing that I don't like is when someone offer my money to go in their pockets. I call that thirsty ass people, man. Because if I'm not borrowing you or owe you or anything like that, don't invite my money to your pockets. Them niggas on 6 second, the, the store I be going to. I could be going in there to be getting like one or two things. And then they wind up asking, um, do I need something else? Do I need this? And I was like, yo, why y'all always do that? It's not like y'all giving me free shit. Y'all offering my money. Stop doing that shit. And I keep telling these niggas that. These niggas is hard-headed. And there's another thing. I hate when my peoples call me saying, do I need any bud or anything like that? Like, I don't know where the weed man at. Like, I don't got his number. I don't like thirsty people like that, man. That shit is whack. But nobody offered their money to be in my pocket. But everybody, yo, 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 give me a call, man. Yo, I got this, I got that. I don't give a fuck what you got, my nigga. If I'm not looking for that right now, find somebody that's looking for it. Don't call somebody up to invite their money like, 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 I don't got other shit to do. That shit is whack, man. You know what I'm saying? Thirsty ass people. Now I'm gonna get to the point that why would I have people around me that they talking shit about what I'm trying to do with myself. Like, far as like music, um, I got five albums coming out. Actually, actually, I'm lying. I got seven albums that's coming out that I'm gonna be put out online. Jack and Beats, volume one, two, three, and four. That's four albums right there. Um, my second LP, Daddy, that's coming out. Um, Jay LaBelle, sing-alongs, sing-along album that's coming out. And Kyrie Bell, sing-along sing -along album that's coming out. So I just said seven albums is coming out. I give it like a few more weeks. And then I'ma just release it. I just gotta do a few more songs on my daughter album and and like four or five more songs on my son album. And I gotta do the intro and the outro to my second album second album and my Jack and Beats volume 1, 2, and 3 is finished. I gotta do at least like 11 more tracks for Jack and Beats volume 4. So that should be out in a few weeks because I make songs like almost every day or at least like three times a week. So I'll be on my grind. So whatever if you don't like what I'm doing, there's someone out there that do. And me having a lot of people around me, they could be 
fronting, not all of them, just some. I know who I'm talking about, and I know who who be doing shit like that. Swear these motherfuckers is your friends, but they only have the courage to say it in your face, like how they saying it behind your back. If they got the courage to say it in your face, I can respect a person more. Then I'll get to the point that, it's like if you gotta address something, address it to me. Why are you talking about me? Why are you telling people what you feel about me, about my shit? Won't you tell me how you feel about my shit? You know what I'm saying? So, and these is my actual friends. And and the shit is whack. Sometimes my brother be like, yeah, you sensitive. I am sensitive, I'm so sensitive, I speak the truth. And that's what people are afraid of. I know I can't close my mouth. Sometimes people need to get exposed, like fuck that, man. I'm tired of being nice. I know I can shut up, but I, I choose not to. I choose to keep talking. Instead of me fucking being on some violent shit, I rather to speak about it. Because I know it's kind of, it's kind of hitting me. It's not hitting me hard, but it's hitting me enough to make a fucking video about it. And these is your actual friends. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. Not all my peoples is like that. There's always ones with hitting agendas. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are. I'm not even gonna say y'all names. You know what I'm saying? Fronting like you like my shit. But when you're around somebody else, getting high or whatever the case may be, y'all here talking shit about me. But it's okay, you can talk shit about me. But I stand up what I believe in. And, and I always say this, no one on this earth, I mean this earth, is fucking with me. If anybody wanna fucking think they can, thinking they can do better, step up. And I'll handle that shit real quick. And the crazy thing about it, nobody never stand up. And I made like 20 fucking videos like this. And it's not like I don't be getting views on my videos. I know people hear what the fuck I'm saying. No one on this earth is fucking with me with hip hop. No one, no one alive, no one dead, no one fucking with me. I pay homage to the ones that's alive and I pay homage to the ones that's dead. But at the end of the day, no one is fucking with me. I am hip hop. I'm the last one left to bring it back. And it's another thing. I don't need no record deal, you heard? I don't need no fucking record deal. So if you think your people's got a fucking imp on a label and then, and then, and then, she could put a nigga on. I never asked you to ask your sister for her to check my fucking music out. You know what I'm saying? And you did that same corny shit to my brother about his TV show. He didn't tell you to ask your sister. You choose to do that. And then, and then, and it's not like, it's not like you going in there with good intentions. You going in there to see exactly how you feel. Like, like you waiting for the remarks just like how you feel. He like, yeah, this shit is trash. That's what I was saying. So why would you send me something like that? I just wanted you to hear it. I just wanted you to see it. With bad fucking intentions, but these niggas is your peoples. That's why I didn't reach out to you no more. The last time I reach out to you, we supposed to do a fucking... I asked you to do like a little, a little clip of a video of you acting like you calling me. You said you was gonna do it, you didn't do it. That was the end of the conversation. And, and I don't remember the last time that was, I think it was December. And that was the last time I spoke to you. Them the same people that wanna grow with you. But at the end of the day, they not even growing themselves. 
So how the fuck you gonna have somebody grow with you if they not growing themselves? They don't give a fuck what you're trying to do. They see your shit out there. They see everything out there. But do they spend money on it? No. They rather spend money on somebody that they don't know. That's why you can't be around people that you fucking know when you're trying to do business. Not all of them, just some. Because nobody wants you to grow if they fucked up in the game. You heard? And that's what I get for fucking with thirsty people. And that's what I get for having people like that in my life. You heard? And the thing about it, I don't really have people around me like I used to. Because I'll be repeating myself to the same dumb shit that I was going through all these other years. I'm not doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all don't do it either. I love y'all. I make videos for y'all can understand where I'm coming from so y'all can get the same energy knocked off and fucking I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm feel better. If this video was the opposite, I want you to feel good about it. Not about the video, about yourself. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't say nothing if I don't care. You heard? You heard? I love y'all. Good day, God bless, peace.